So, early morning, about 7am on Sunday morning, going past a place called Cold Spring Mill. Uh, it was a coffee shop and like an outdoor <coughs> outdoor place. And it leads down to a, a mountain bike track, which is quite technical, easy to start with. Watch that. Uh, sun's kind of in the eyes. So it goes quite flat here and then uh, gradually become just a rock strewn single track and hopefully there'll be nobody around because it's 7am so you can see it's just starting to get technical now not too bad uh, go high on this ridge here oh, and then cut across oh, we're going to that. Uh, and then a ridge here just wheelie up over that oh. and then Keep to the right here as far as you can. Watch the tree, Stuart. Whoa, balance. Oh, keep going, dropping. <clears throat> so we're linking up to the next uh, next bridal track across the moors on the right, heading north. Link it with this uh, this road fairly quiet this morning, and we're just going to hang a right here. Stop by this gate. And then this track, this track goes north for about a kilometre uh, across the moors, north east ish. <clears throat> um, and it's quite a straightforward track, really. Not too many uh, technical issues. And today's interesting fact, which won't be that interesting, but well, down there there's a wee beck that runs down in this light. Uh, like bottom of the valley and it's called Milking Hole Beck. I don't know how they named that place like that but they did. So there's the uh, bridle path markers just there. Keeps you on the right track but these these tracks are fairly distinct and they're quite well worn from a, a walking and, and even more so from a, a riding point of view recently. Um, easy to follow. So I'll just stop and take a, a view. Yeah, quite pleasant this morning. Yeah, it's a big view up here on a, on a clear day. I won't want to be up here in winter, however. <laughs> it's bloody grim. <laughs> quite pleasant, really. Hi up. So to the left. Um, this will be Withens at Moor, which was um, I think wrote about by the Bronte sisters. And then over that ridge, uh, you will drop down to uh, Hebden Bridge, and down there is Leeming Reservoir. Um, this is a, a village called Oxen Up in the bottom there. And as we move around to the right, this is uh, Howarth down this valley bottom here. sit there all day. It's like, <laughs> it's like last of the summer wine. <laughs> yeah. So we'll turn right here and go up onto the uh, next uh, track which is a uphill section down the gears. Uh, technical. Ooh. It's probably steeper than it looks. Man, I suppose everybody says that. <laughs> So let's have a look here, we'll try going left up oh, this bit. Oh, just and only just that time. This would be horrendous when it rains. Yeah, it's difficult, is it? Oh my mate, it's me. <laughs> this mount. I never got up this bit. And it's like technical uphill, which is always difficult. This is where an e-bike is uh, would be better. I certainly can't pedal up here myself. Maybe 20 years ago. Maybe more. 30 years ago. But anyway, that's that bit over. I'm nearly up to more top now. Well, um, single track, as you can see. Mind that jump. Go to the left of that jump. And jump off this. And then leap off that. So it's quite technical, is this? 
Uh, loose rocks are always going to be difficult. Oh. Oh. Jump off that. Jump off that. The jumps are quite small, really. Uh, but again, tricky. You've got to be like inch perfect, really. I think there's a, another technical bit just here. And a jump here. Let's get some speed for this. Oh, that was a big jump, is that? And there's another one there. Oh. And another one there. And another one. Woo! <laughs> There's a series of three small jumps there, uh, and you've really got to oh, jump, jump across that B uh, to concentrate, which is difficult at the best of times. And um, rock through the technical. Yeah, to, oh, slow down there. Not the best route through there today. In fact, that were rubbish. We lost all the pace. Ooh, finally on to some smooth. So we're now moving on to some technical downhill. And as we drop down this valley, we've got to leap these sort of watercourse diverters. And they're starting to get quite steep now, so we'll have to use what, what skill I possess. This is a tricky one. It's up and over, up on there and down. And we've got a little bit of water to add to it. Let's slip it. There's a wee spring there. It's not too bad. And try and jump off there onto that. It's flattened off a little bit now. And then again, now it's starting to become steep. Pick us way down here nicely. Keep right on this one. Now dropping down and down and down. Not too bad. Quite smooth. And keep left here. Keep out of that rut on the right. And this, again, technical now. Mm, quite narrow and lots of rocks, as you can see. Uh, concentrate. Watch this one. Uh, coming up some cars, so that means that there's a, a decent bit of road. And we're just about to finish this bridle track now. Try not to run into that car. Keep right. Yeah, not too bad. So, another bridle track, quite an old one this, oh, bit technical, nearly, uh, getting towards the end of the ride this morning, about a kilometre, no, yeah, a kilometre, a kilometre and a half to go, and this is probably an old cart track by the look of it, it's got twin, uh, twin ruts if you like, now there's some technical just around this corner, dropping down to a to a gate so you can maybe see technical here so we'll go high on that ridge down the middle keeping right oh, it's not too bad and we'll just skip this back end round line it up another gate so we've just come through said gate and down there and we'll Stopped here for a minute or two. There's a trusty steed. It's a uh, white uh, T130 full suspension. A few years old now. A good bike though. And uh, um, I love the like, pond nature is good. And we'll proceed down this. Uh, this track here down to the shoes railway um, which we cross over but to by the bridge I don't think we could, uh, you can't go on the railway itself so we go down the, um, the track to the left of it but it's pretty much all the way uh, it's all downhill from here which will make for good speed possibly uh, just quickly breathing <laughs> approaching um the disused railway line, known uh, as the Queensbury line, and it's uh, nicknamed the Alpine uh, Trail line because of the uh, elevation. And this this line opened in 1884 between um, 
uh, Keighley and it fed Queensbury, Bradford and Halifax there it is down there. Oh, and this is the bridge over it. Uh, and it closed in, um, so it opened in 1884 and closed in 1956 to traffic, I believe. And we're just dropping down the right hand side of it. So the train line's down there. So dropping down towards the end of the uh, end of the ride now. We'll hang a right here. And as usual with cycling, we'll go every time we go uh, down a hill, then we have to go up a hill. There's nothing for free <laughs> with cycling. Let's turn down to the bottom cog. There we go. Get up a few gears. Uh, so uh, down we go, and now we're going up, and then down there. There's the old mill dam. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. Whoa. Uh, disused. And in fact, they built some apartments out of the uh, out of the mill, which are quite pleasant. Uh, again, it'd be nice to have an e-bike here. <laughs> Finally, back to civilization. End of the ride. Whew. Good morning out. Uh, thanks for watching.